Girl Guide in UK met Becky Meehan to find out about her job as a journalist covering the fast moving world of international finance. My name's Becky Meehan, I'm a presenter at CNBC which is a global financial news channel. I anchor all the news shows from 5am till 9am covering all the market open action and the top stories from around the globe. A typical day in my job involves getting up at 2am, my alarm clock goes off and I spring out of bed full of the joys of uh, the day ahead and uh, I'm in the office by 3am, I spend about an hour or so prepping, reading up what's been going on in the news overnight uh, around the world and what we should be expecting from the day ahead in terms of the news agenda and then I go into um, makeup for between half an hour and an hour depending on uh, quite how much help I need to be presentable for any particular day and then on air at 5am and usually I'm on air from 5am until 9am and it's a live uh, rolling news programme for those hours. I suppose the biggest challenges I face in my work change over time. Um, I'm, now I'm a bit more established and I'm a little bit older. The challenges are trying to balance going to work and um, having a family because I have a two-year-old daughter and trying to really keep on top of my game. When I was a bit younger, it was more about trying to break into journalism at all to start with and then trying to break into TV. So I think the, uh, the older you get, some things get a bit easier, some things get a bit harder. I didn't really know what I wanted to do until after I'd left university. I remember saying, to somebody when I was at university it would be quite fun to be a journalist and this individual saying all students say they want to be a journalist and no one ever does it because it's really hard. I applied for some uh, work experience on local papers, really enjoyed it and then decided to push ahead with journalism and then just moved gradually into TV. Well I think it's important to have a role model because it helps you to form your own ambitions and um, that's certainly been the case for me and um, it's quite reassuring and motivating to know that what you're trying to achieve other women usually kind of older women have gone there and done it before i think the best advice i remember someone saying to me when i was when i was already a journalist but quite junior saying you should always dress for the job you want not the job you've got which is actually an excellent piece of advice and shouldn't be taken too literally either it's a bit more a bit more general you should always look to the next step be sure that you can do it and go for it what i took away from guides as a young person myself was just to have a really active interest in what's going on in the world around me not just what is involved in my day-to-day -day life but other other things as well. I often talk to people about how great it is being a guide leader because lots of people will say to me oh Becky that's amazing you do something in the community you do something outside of work. I've had loads of pinnacle moments as a guide leader. I really enjoyed making my promise again when I did my leadership qualification. Um, I hadn't really thought about it when I first came back to be to be a leader. I hadn't really occurred to that I'd make my promise again. And I took my promise really seriously when I was a brownie, when I was a guide. And I took it really, really seriously and when I made it again as a grown-up. Um, so that was really that was really fun. I made my promise with um, one of my new guides in the unit as well. So we did that together, which was which was great. I really really enjoyed that. Follow the debate on Twitter using the hashtag #RealRoleModels.